What's going on, everyone? It's me, your man, Alex the Rambler. And today, we're on Hearts of Iron 4. And I'm bringing back a series that has long been forgotten. That's right, I'm going to attempt to save your disaster games once again. And if you're pumped that this series is returning, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. If this video gets 5,000 likes, I'll save another disaster save game. How's that for a deal for you, eh? Doesn't cost you a thing to click that like button, apart from your time and energy. Yeah, I guess that's not really a great trade-off in the end, though, is it? I decided to do a YouTube poll whether I should do this series again, and currently 90% of you say, uh, yes, upload the results even if you can't save it. So, here we go. And if you're considering sending me a save, please don't, just yet. I need to uh, get everything set up. Probably, I, 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 I've forgotten that email address I used years ago. So I apologise to the literally hundreds of you that have sent save games to me that I haven't done. Sorry, um, <laughs> I'm going to do this properly this time. So I'm going to upload the save games to a Google Drive where you can download them for yourselves, hopefully. And then I'm also going to set up a dedicated email address, which I did have a few years ago, which I've forgotten the passwords to. Oh well. I do also have an email address where you will send save games to, but I, I need to try and access that again, so my bad. Uh, or I'll just set up a completely new one. So, what save game do we have today? So this particular save game was sent in by the great Ian Empire. Uh, they conquered Anatolia, restored the Byzantine Empire, and decided to go for the bad romance achievement and got in a terrible situation when you're at war with the Germans, Italians, British and Japanese and your lines are collapsing. Please help! <laughs> okay, Ian, I don't think I'm going to save this one, but I'll give it a go. Uh, because it truly is. You're, you're in a terrible state. Now, we are playing Iron Man, so I only have one shot at this. So, we'll give it a go. It looks like you're in a very strong position until I click start, and then you'll see... It's horrible, guys. Like, it, it, it's really bad. So, my aim for this for you, Ian, is uh, it, I will deem this saved if I don't capitulate. Uh, I'm willing to lose the majority of the Byzantine Empire. We're going for the full-on 15th century size Byzantine Empire at this point. Because <clears throat> you're at war with so many people. So, here we go. Um, so, we are the Latin bloc. And you're at war with the Axis and the Allies. That's always a good start. Let's see what your situation is. Ah! You're researching paratroopers. Pourquoi? Six combat with paratroopers at that. When you're in this situation, I would never recommend trying to go for paratroopers. I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but it won't achieve anything. Uh, it looks like France is all gone. Your units are all encircled and are about to perish. Your troops are encircled in France and are going to die. I have no idea what you were attempting to do here. It looks like you had a whole stack up here that you're trying to withdraw here. Not even going to bother with that, to be honest with you. So I'm going to delete that order straight away. And I'm going to actually relocate those divisions to Greece. Your only hope in heck is to abandon the rest of Europe, in my mind... And then attempt to... Oh, I don't even know. But when push comes to shove, just stop pushing. Just stop it. Just stop it right now. Admittedly, you probably are in a better position to, like, micro your units here and then engage there. You could also try and encircle the British down here. Uh, let's try and save Batman. <laughs> I didn't even realise that was a freaking city. But really, I need to harness the power of the chonk. Uh, I'm going to cancel your recruitment, if I get to the right screen again, of cancel the production there. You have political power. Uh, you probably do need a mm, chief of navy at this point. I don't, I don't know what you need. Research is available. You have been doing your land doctrine. Very nice. You don't have fighter twos research. You haven't even been doing any of your air, which I guess makes sense if you're Greece to begin with. That overall, though, I don't think that you haven't even. I mm, think I'm going to research motorized. Our military factories are freed up at the moment. You've gone all in on fighters. If you're going to have an air force, I would recommend CAS with fighter support. 
That's how I would do it. Don't even bother building transport planes. Like, you're not going to achieve anything down there. You probably want to get some convoys. These are in a good spot here to protect a naval invasion from roads. But honestly, you're in a dire situation. This is horrid. So, you have seven twos. Fine. Looks like you have a basic garrison template, so I might actually try and pump these out. I didn't realise manpower is also an issue. Ouch. So they are going to try and withdraw over there. Yes. Where are your five units here? Uh, we're also going to do the classic line from Braveheart here. I'm just going to order these to stay alive and hold for as long as possible. But sir, that'll kill some of our own men. But yes, we'll get some of theirs too. In all likelihood, we'll only take down a couple of troops, but still, you know what, you might as well just die for the for the Empire. Now, one thing we do have is occupied territories and we can manage our subjects, so I could actually release Bulgaria and help secure our front up here and not call them into the war. Oh god! Okay, that was a very bad decision to do that. I should not have done that. I released them as a puppet. Oh, and they would have been fascist anyway, so they probably would have joined the Axis. Well, I've already ballsed up there. Uh, we're mainly going to stop the advances here. Uh, our air force is going to relocate over probably to Constantinople. And your 11 troops are just going to defend our capital. If, 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 if Constantinople falls, I will declare this game over. I'm hoping it doesn't come to that, but this was a mistake. I shouldn't have done this. My bad. So we'll get all of them to uh, move as quickly as they can. Some will die, but some will live. Uh, I'm also going to probably stop the attacks here, although they are moving, aren't they? This is okay at the moment. They're trying to push on in, so we'll just block them again. Uh, we do have control of the Mediterranean. That's why you're not getting naval invaded. This is honestly pretty nice, although we are lacking fuel. No surprise there. Ugh, the Soviets! Give me fuel! That's actually one positive thing that we have here is that the war between Germany and the Soviets is happening. So you have you have time to build up your defences, sort of. Looks like we got the majority of the troops out. A couple will die. And we've actually encircled the British. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. And it looks like we can encircle them up here as well. Now bear in mind, I hate micro. I have quite bad repetitive strain in my, in my hand. If I micro less than you would like, uh, the reason is because it hurts. <laughs> Oh, it's a lot worse now. Uh, sorry, it's a lot better now that I don't edit. And I have my friend who's probably getting his own RSI. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> oh, okay. What focuses can we even do here? Let's give ourselves an extra division recovery rate. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, do you know what? This probably is a good idea to keep pushing. Do we have another field marshal? There we go. Yeah, we'll keep pushing and try and push back down to the Suez. Uh, our troops here have arrived. But what kind of templates are they? We have some ones that are stars. Spartans! You had Sp You have Spartan div- You have 40 combat whip divisions and they were just hanging out up here. Bloody Nora, mate. Right. I think I'll convert all of you to Spartans, perhaps. Do we have the equipment for that? Oh! The rest of them, seven twos, which are still okay. Let's give you some cavalry recon, though. Let's only have 10 factories assigned to planes and more to guns. So I've abandoned Italy, uh, essentially. We also don't have area superiority in the Middle East, so I'll attempt to change that. And then if we can keep taking their airports, push down here to Damascus. But where do I try and hold here? Spartans should try and defend parts of Greece. Luckily, it's only Hungarians we're going up against, so I should be able to hold against them there. Uh, but yeah, Italy's gone. I... <laughs> There was no hope of me holding Italy, I don't think. Uh, we've got to focus on the homeland. We're abandoning Spain. There's not really much the Latin bloc can achieve in its current state. The East Indies want to join. I say nay. Always make sure if you have the command power to upgrade your generals and field marshals. It will be very, very nice if you can do that. Let's see if there's any decisions we can do. I might actually befriend the communists at this point because it's just like, oh, yeah. There's not really any decisions that we need to do. Our focus is just going to be on holding and trying to push down here. I want to try and trap all of their divisions because my divisions are not as good as theirs, but uh, they're now they're all encircled. So just keep up the pressure for a little bit longer. Keep going, keep going. I can't focus on one front for too long though because I'm going to uh, get tunnel vision. 
You don't want tunnel vision. But we are we are dealing some casualties to the Brits here. It almost seems like overkill at the moment. But hey, we're taking back some land. We're doing all right. Uh, up here, I think we're going to hold. In fact, you are now in position to do that. Down here, we're, we're, we're getting strong points. And I just need my fuel to last because now I'm going to convoy raid. So we'll hopefully deal some damage to the Brits and their convoys here. I do regret uh, the Bulgaria thing. My apologies for that. The Bulgarian Albania releasing them was a dumb decision. Being naval invaded in Sumatra. Not a lot I can do there. Unassigned division. What the heck? So France is tech Nation Francois is definitely on our side. I I the UK is at war with... Oh no. So the UK isn't at war. It's just unfortunate that we're ally... Oh. Oh, this isn't a normal allies at all. What the f***? What's been going on here? What is this world? It's not prudent for us to lose Italy in general then, is it? I will send some units to try and hold a bit of Italy. Oh, yes. I should have looked at the situation a bit more. I thought Italy would have been in the Axis, but no. What do we do about this, Chonka? It looks like it is mainly Hungarians we have to deal with. There are some German divisions. Yep. And they are better than mine. So are the greater Hungarian divisions as well. Yeah, our, our divisions are not up to scratch. Okay, what should we construct? Military factories, please. Oh, wow, yeah, our industry has uh, got a whole lot worse since losing all of our territory. Reward Japan as well. Oh, I forgot about that. Nine, nine, nine. Australia's not doing nothing. Well, we'll hold on to Rome at least, maybe. Don't think that's hugely likely. Who is this? Who has come to assist me? The Hellenic East Indies. I always knew they could be relied upon. I'm very surprised what we're able to achieve down here. Hopefully we'll recover a bit of our industry taking the territories in Africa. This was a fool's errand. I should not have bothered with this. If I can just keep securing my position in Africa, it reduces the amount of ports they can theoretically naval invade from too. Taken Alamein and Alexandria. I dislike this. I dislike it when it does that stuff. When, you know, it reassigns all your divisions when you just got them in the position yeah, where you it. wanted them to be. Okay, but we'll keep pushing there. Hold here and here. Baffingly, we're holding in Italy briefly. But you can see, I did have 160 factories. I now have 56. <laughs> oh, man. So this is the thing. Like, if you're in a bad situation, you can sometimes resolve it especially if you have places you can defend from so i won't be able to really push from here i don't think but it's going to be very difficult for them to come and attack me the same for here if i can get some spartan divisions perhaps i can probably push up here maybe i really need the soviets to do a good job though and they're kind of dying oh come on okay what we're actually going to do here is withdraw to sicily strat redeploy to sicily Dangerous naval invasion over here. <laughs> okay, and if you have a faction and you know you're going to be at war on multiple fronts, my advice would not be to bring them in. Down here, we're having a rollicking good time. Like, it's smooth sailing. Sure! <laughs> See if you can do that. See if you can achieve those objectives. Cheers, guys. But yes, you guys can keep pushing down here. Any land we take is a positive. Ah! And they're trying to push against the Spartans. L l let's see how that goes. Not great. We are holding. We do not have aircraft in Greece, though. So let's fix the objective here. Looks like only six divisions are going to make it out. But we should be able to hold in Messina. I don't think they'll be able to cross very easily. At least, what are these division templates? Oh. Overran another unit. So we're inflicting we're inflicting a good amount of casualties. Oh wow, okay, yeah. Japan has taken off uh, taken away the Hellenic East Indies from us. What faction are Japan in, I wonder? The Axis. Brilliant. Latin bloc is looking <laughs> Oh, in a bit of a kerfuffle. The Spartans are holding down here. I don't know what's gonna happen. Do you know what? I need civilian factories. Can I go to Total Mob? Not really. I never understand why my divisions, despite being on aggressive, don't really move that much. It's quite irritating. Try and take that port and encircle another division. Okay, I think I'm in a safe-ish spot, maybe. Uh-oh, I am losing the Mediterranean a little bit, aren't I? They're going to keep taking a fair amount of casualties down here, because that's where my core, uh, my army core is. I'll be called center. Why do they keep assigning themselves over here when I want them over here? Please stop reassigning yourselves. I will tell you when I need you to be reassigned. At the moment, you do not need to be. Stop it. 
Stop it. Do you know what? I am going to befriend the communists. Let's try and befriend them there. Can I do anything with Triumph and Egypt and Tunisia? So I just need to get control of Tunisia and then we can actually do a Triumph. Wouldn't that be nice? I don't think I'm getting you any achievements today, uh, <laughs> but I'm trying my best to save this situation for you. I hope it's working. Oh, they're, they're committing so much more of their navies now. Uh, Kiev has fallen. That's not... Good. Have the Germans taken a million casualties yet? What on earth happened here? Did anyone... Did they... They... Okay, Sudan just comes out of freaking nowhere. Oh my giddly goo. That was absolute BS. <laughs> Sorry. Um, my, my troops are now just going to die. Because British Sudan got released. Since when does the AI pull tricks like that? Well, they've got me there. I'll try and get them out of uh, out of that Africa, uh, Sudan at least. The Hellenic Navy is getting quite battered, but it's still alive. And unfortunately, in Messena, they're all going to die. I wish I had some cash. Now they've actually put down a decent amount of divisions, I can no longer push. And we're getting forced back here. This is all because of Sudan. They just got released as I was pushing in there. I... I, 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 I this is infuriating. Well, they became wise to my advances. So, I mean, kudos to the AI. Two divisions will have to hold there. I can't afford to lose Africa now. I've just gained it all. Oh, boy. I'm beginning to think, like, maybe withdrawing to these strong points wasn't the best idea. I didn't really see what else I could try, though. I was really hoping, like, Italy... Uh, if Italy and the Germans could, like, somehow have a little bit of war with each other. I wouldn't mind that. That'd be pleasant. That'd be nice. Let's make it so they're less effective against me. And if they want to keep attacking and weakening themselves, that'd be great. Okay, now we just need to hold. Uh, that's all I'm going to try and do. I'm not actually going to try and advance anymore because I literally am unable to with the resources that we have to hand. And I think it's probably more prudent to build some civilian factories. And I am going to go to total mob. I'm going to have a chief of air force. Oh! Oh! Really? It's 1941 and Moscow has fallen? Ah! Ich bin ein screwed. I need like the USA to come yeeting in or something. Wow, they are amassing a lot of troops to try and counter me down here, aren't they? And failing, I honestly don't know what to do. When you're at war with the whole of Europe and Japan. Ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna uh, reassign some Spartans up here. I'm gonna try for a bit of a pushback up here. I don't know how well that's gonna go or how long we can actually keep up that advance. I'm surprised how well that worked. Take back a factory or two, maybe? Oh, let's get the party city. Corfu's backing, uh, but, but, you know, we got the... Oh, no, they've got the tanks. Oh, my God. You haven't done a naval doctrine. Um, I should have looked at that. I mean, ugh, it's not looking great. And up here, I'm regretting doing my little poosh. Because they just redirected a load of units over here, didn't they? Cheeky little scamps. Down here, though. All is good in the hood. You've had limited aims or limited goals, but uh, let's expand on that. The British clearly haven't um, valued this front, so we will seize the means of conquest. Are we going to encircle the British? Yes. <laughs> we're holding here, and we're just about holding here. This is tense. Why must you be the way that you are, Britain? Hey, we've got an encirclement though, so that's nice. Okay, so I have no idea what this British uh, division thinks it's going to achieve. Oh, it would be nice if I could take all of Tunisia and then they all become cores. Oh my god. Yes. Yep, Tunisia is the priority. I need more core territory. I need the cores. Okay, all on Constantinople, I guess. Wow, this is horrid. I'm in a very, very, very dicey situation. Triumph for Egypt and Tunis. Bam! So that's all core territory now. 2.44 million men in the field. It's no longer occupied. Well, at least it shouldn't be. Hey! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> this counts, right? Oh my. Okay, well the Soviets are going to capitulate any minute now. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. It's a weird one. It's technically saved, but I don't know what else I can achieve. I can't put where- I can't really push down here anymore. 
I can't push out from Constantinople. I can't push out from Greece. I can't push out in Africa anymore. We've achieved as yeah, much yes. as we're going to achieve in Africa uh, at this point. We do have, you know, unlimited manpower, but it's just the fact that I've lost all of my factories and my industry sucks. So, technically, it's saved. I managed to hold Constantinople, but I have nothing to stop the Axis when the Soviet Union capitulates and just goes doo 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 So, it's saved, but if I were you, I would just restart. So, Ian, uh, I'll try and remember to send the save game back to you. And if you thought that you enjoyed this, this kind of return to the disaster save games, please do comment, like, and subscribe. This one was fun. I enjoyed it. I could keep going, but honestly, I think I want to keep these. I don't, I don't want to invest like, you know, three or four hours into saving it. I've got it to a stable position that the player can then go off and try again. This one is bad, <laughs> but I've done my best. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments below and I'll be back for more very soon. Toodaloo! Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Kobe Dennis, Zachariah Mosby, Brandon Preston, Chancellor64, Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Logan Whaley, Omjack, Tadhouse, Used Beef, Valhalla Halls, Vash, Warren P. George, and Yaboy yeah for being ridiculous round of supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!